Hey, welcome to the sixth part of the Firebase Authentication Tutorial series. In this video, you will learn how to make users authenticate your app using their phone numbers. Before we dive in, you should take in consideration that it's for security reasons, it's highly suggested to not count only on this method of authentication, but use it alongside with any other method. Okay. Make sure you have the necessary links to the Firebase in it and the Firebase auth service in your HTML file. Then, if you downloaded the project files from GitHub, link them to the project you have created on the Firebase console by using the Firebase use command. Now, we need to enable the phone provider in the sign in method tab. Then, let's start coding. The authentication with phone mechanic works in two steps. The first one is sending the security code after resolving a captcha. So let's start by adding the click event to the get code button. Then let's create the recapture verifier and give it the ID of the HTML element that will hold it. That done, we need to use the render function in order to show it on the page. Now let's code the send verification code functions body.
That should be enough for the first part. Now, the second part is consisted of the verification of the code sent, plus the sign in function. Let's see what exactly is happening here. In the first part, the index page is generating a verification ID, then requesting Firebase Auth service to generate a code for that ID whenever the CAPTCHA is verified. Then, that code is sent to the phone number entered by the user. After that, once the user types the code, the index page this time sends the actual code to Firebase to check if it's associated to the verification ID. Then, an action is taken depending on the response. Either redirect the user to the profile page if it's a positive response, or simply show an error message. Let's run a test. It works. Final thing to mention is you might have a problem running a lot of tests which will block Firebase from sending codes to your phone for a period of time. So in order to run an unlimited number of tests, go to the console, fill in a fictitious number and code, then you can run as much tests as you want. Check the project files in the description below and as always make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next video.